Kia ora katoa, welcome to the speedcube.co.nz YouTube channel. My name is Mike and today I am very excited to be unboxing the GAN I carry the battery powered Bluetooth smart cube. I'm hyped to have a go at this. They just arrived. I literally just got this out of the case like an hour ago and I can't wait to take it for a turn. See if we can battle people online. See if I can have a bit more luck getting into the app this time. If it's a bit more of an enjoyable experience than it was with the timer. I mean, we got there. Look, quick update on the timer actually. Now that I've lived with it for a bit and I've had the chance to get some data into it, I am enjoying it a lot more. And the biggest thing, the really big thing for me with the GAN timer and the app is it's actually encouraging me to practice. And that's kind of a big deal for me because it's sometimes quite hard to find time to practice, but I'm, I'm finding more and more that I'm encouraged to practice by using this product. Whatever it is, there's something about it I'm enjoying. So that's cool, you know, that's a big success. Oh, and we'll just do a quick elephant in the room announcement as well, by the way, I've got a wonky arm, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be around forever. Don't even worry about it. It's fine, I'll be fine. I might have time to learn some OH stuff. Anyway, let's get into the GAN I carry, shall we? All right then, now before we get stuck in, this video is going to be in a few different parts, I guess. We're going to be looking at the cube itself to see how it actually performs as a speed cube, because I'm kind of interested about that. Then, of course, we'll take it onto the app, and when we do that, we'll look at how it is to practice with it, um, and also maybe how it is to battle people online. We'll see if there's anyone available online to have a battle with. Um, also, I might take a look at the training stuff, the algorithm training stuff, etc. And I'm probably gonna do a separate video um, about uh, setup and how to change tensions and all that kind of stuff and how the thing is made and how it's put together. We'll strip it down in another video and do that separately. But for now, let's just get in and have a look, shall we? Okay, so obviously in this very slick little black box, which is pretty cool. I've got my little GAN 356i card here. Is that my serial number? Sure thing, GAN. There it is, everyone. It's finally here. How about that? This is my first smart cube, everyone. I'm very excited. Uh, let's have a look in the guff box, first of all. There is quite a lot of guff. Let's just see now. Okay. We have a GAN bag, obviously. You gotta have a GAN bag for your GAN swag. We've got... I thought I had a set of springs missing there, but this is obviously for spring set two. So in these bags, it says which spring set they are and which tensions are available on those. Oh yeah, and it actually says on the label, preset on cube, empty bag only, duh, Mike. So, okay, we're not gonna really look at those in this video. I will make another video about the tensioning system and how that all operates. Um, and when that video exists, I will link it up here in the cards. So we've got a cheeky pamphlet. Now this is interesting. Why would they give me a CFOT pamphlet for a smart cube that I'm going to use with an app? But hey, whatever. It's got some very old um, GES nut instructions. So that's interesting. <laughs> uh, the pamphlet is a limited use. Wait a minute, there's a secondary pamphlet. The 356 I carry. Here we go. Aha, here we go. Here's the English now. Blinking red light in the white side indicates low battery. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so here's all of our stuff about the tensioning system. Oh, now this is what I was interested in. Turn any side of the eye carry to wake it up. The white light in the white side will blink for 10 seconds in case of successful awakening. All right. They've kept it really minimal as to how much you actually have to do on the cube physically. Like it's all kind of run in the app. Well, here we go. If you really want to know, um, we are at 2.6 Newtons on our standard settings. That sounds, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's open this cube up, hey? Well, it looks like a speed cube. It feels like a speed cube, a little bit greasy. It looks, it looks small. So it's got these distinguishing um, sort of holes inside the core there. Oh, there's definitely a lot of stuff going on inside. Oh, there's my light. Can you see it? So that's where our light lives. Now I have to compare this with uh, my GAN 356. I think I read somewhere that it was comparable to a, um, an 11. I don't have one with me, but I kind of vaguely remember how they feel, so. Mm. Okay, so it's not quite as, it's not quite as corner cutty as uh, as the 356M first away, so, um, or, or first impressions, but let's, um, so it's got plenty, plenty going this way. Mm. It's actually not a huge amount, just over, 
this is on the box tensions remember so you can probably mess around with this so getting close to 45 which i think is probably pretty good for a smart cube to be fair and then reverse it's in there okay we've got reverse nearly up to the line well actually that's not true maybe half a piece three quarters maybe three quarters of a piece i'm gonna give it a scramble and just have a quick solve all right so just based on having a wee scramble of it there it's quite tight in terms of uh, what's available with the corner cutting so yeah it doesn't perform exactly like a you know like a flagship gang cube oh what on earth are you joking didn't i do this on my first solve on a gan 11 as well good grief that was potentially triggering and i apologize so yeah it's um it's not unpleasant to play with though but it's it is a little bit locky and the tensions are a bit tight so this is a box a box setting 356 and there's a fair bit of flex in there it's a bit tighter than that like i say maybe when i play around with the tension settings there's something that suits me a bit better so you've got to be a little bit more precise with your turning but other than that it just feels like a commoner garden gang cube really just a little bit tighter which is pretty impressive and it's not a horrible frosted fish it's quite a quite a chill frosted finish on there as well oh let's do it let's get a cap off and have a look so yeah there's our tensioning system it's not one that i've seen before but i've never played with a gan smart cube before so it might be that this has existed before i don't know you'd have to check that but anyway look it's cube shaped it turns like a cube it's a speed cube looks like a speed cube i think we just need to get ripping straight into the app and see how easy it is to connect how easy it is to do some practice with let's just get some solves done i think okay sure just like the timer let's um the device is not verified oh okay sure finish verify okay i think our cube is connected it is it looks like it can I carry A7E? Hey, look at that! That's kind of cool. Okay, we are in our standard mode, which is a smart cube connected. So now I think we can actually do some solving. Well, let's go practice. Um, let's go practice and let's try timer. So do a U, U prime to start scrambling okay here we go oh wow oh that is cool scramble done start timing by turning any side or when the countdown is over okay cool so i'm inspecting 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 um cool all right hey this is really exciting <laughs> I'm genuinely so stoked. Can't wait to see some stats on my trash TPS. Damn. I'm going to have to resist the urge to, like, smash the table. As though there was a timer there, you know? <laughs> that is so cool. I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm such a noob. I've never used a smart cube before. That is really cool. Challenge again. Let's get Let's get some solves down, shall we? get some data i like that you just do a u u to like click next it's not exactly a competition simulation is it though because you're you're not getting the opportunity to practice you know grabbing the cube picking it up with the timer so everyone's gonna have i guess like you'll have your smart cube pb and you'll have your you know your stack map pb uh-huh oh i instinctively <laughs> instinctively went to hit the screen challenge again oh this is really cool i'm so stoked on this you can just get some serious serious practice done and like i mentioned like that's kind of what i've been really enjoying about the gan timer and and the app combined is that it's encouraging me to actually practice which for me is a big deal because i don't practice nearly enough Woo! hey cool that you you prime works for like your next solve as well so you literally don't have to take your hands off the cube that's outstanding and you know what i'm not i'm not hating the cube i've not really noticed i wasn't like when i was sort of testing it it felt a little bit locky but i'm not really minding it at the moment i'm actually kind of enjoying the 
the tensions. I need to find some stats, you know, I'm getting, I'm ready for some statistics. I don't need stats to know that that F2L sucked. View scores, let's see. So here we go, here's on my, here's my smart cube. Oh my gosh, look at these TPS numbers. Those are not ideal. Look at these moves. Chris Mills is gonna tear me a new one for those. Look at that, 93. So I have my, my data coming in now, which is cool. Moves, TPS, fluency. So moves, in terms of moves, that's all over the place. I've only got six souls in though. Maybe I should get an average of 12. Or maybe, let's go back. Let's go out of here. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Where? How do I get home? Challenge again is going to give... Oh, okay, right. I can just, before I go... Ah, yeah, okay. So if you want to go home, you do have to hit challenge again so that you can get the option to go back. Yeah, 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 sure. Rank. Here we go. Rank. Now, I think I need 20. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> it's our mate, Chris Mills. So I think from what Chris told me, you need... Oh, can I message Chris? Yo! Send. That's good, isn't it? I can spam Chris Mills in another chat now. All right, okay, so my ranking... Still 20 cases to solve. Okay. Average of five, no data. Oh, wait, that's... How... Mm -mm. Hmm. Global ranking is calculated by the average of top 20 solves of the week. What does that mean in ranking time trial? Does that mean I need to have matches to do that? Multiplayer match? Ranked challenge. Ranking time trial. Oh, here we go. So ranked challenge. Yeah, here we go. Okay, God, I'm gonna have to do 20 solves. Um, this might take a while, but I'm gonna get 20 solves. God damn it, I'm determined to get my rank. Here we go. Three hours later. Hmm, sort of forgot what an F perm was. Confirm. Oh, have I done it? Ranking, 307, there we go, 307, that's where I am, 307th in the world, let's see, who, how many are there? Oh, it doesn't even go to 200, <laughs> okay, so there we go, but then I can see, like, within me and my friends, I don't know, global friends, what's going on here? The average is 28.97, that's rubbish. That's absolute rubbish. Never mind. Okay, that's what that was. Okay, cool. So that's kind of a look at the time trial then. It's your so it's your weekly ranking. It's the best solves you've done that week. So I, I've got here total of total I've done is twenty, uh, and I did twenty of those today. Okay, and look at that. This curve here. That's kind of interesting. I was trash. Then I got quite good for a bit. Then I was just trash again. What else can we do? Practice training algorithm li library. Ooh. I can learn Roo. How about that? CFOP Advanced, C-O-L-L. -L. Oh, wow. Interesting. So I can get in here. So it says do a U, U prime to start. Okay. For fluency, click not to remind again. So, oh, right. Are these my turns? Trend graph for recent 50 practices. Wow. So you can really grind into these ads. That's cool. Okay, let's go back again. Hold on. So I can see my, my triple sexy, that's not ideal. I don't really want to be using that one, do I? I know I'll get, I know I'll get hit for that one. C-O-L-L-H-2. Can I see them all? I want to see them all. I want to see that. There is one that I want to. Interesting. Well, why can't I get back to see all the pictures? There we are. There's the pictures I'm looking for now. So what's the case I'm looking for? Yeah, that one. That one is what I'm looking for. What I want is this one. Mm, but I don't really want it for C-O-L-L, -L, actually. I want it for just C-F-O-P. O-L-L, -L, and I want it, ooh, no, I don't want to learn full O-L-L -L right now, but I do want to learn this one, it's this guy, this guy here, because I want to learn a new algorithm for this one, so it's O-L-L -L 22, let's do it, so, oh yeah, um, R, U prime, U prime, R prime to U prime, R two U prime, R. 
am I gonna learn this? R R U U. Oh. R U U Frank. R U two. But I guess this is trying to teach me a finger trick as well, right? Oh, that's a really cool alg for that. <gasps> okay, this is really, really cool. This is sick. This is so good. I'm. Am I going to be able to remember this alg? I don't know. But it's actually teaching me finger tricks. <gasps> I'm sorry for everyone who knows this alg already, but I've never done this one. Hey, not bad, eh? And then I can track my time on it. I'm so, I'm kind of blown away by that. That's really cool. That is very, very exciting and has a lot of potential because you can just grind through all of this stuff. How many OLL ags have we got here? I forget. I can learn Roo and be a Roo boss like Dwayne. How about that? And then customize, create new, oh, and you can make your own algorithm libraries by edit. You can edit your custom algorithm library. Oh, I forgot to press record on the screen. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I should have done that. I'm blown away by that. Maybe it's going to teach me new PLL as well. Yeah, because look, it's the M slice U perm. Funny. Okay, so the last frontier, I guess, is to play a match. Enter room. No suitable room. Create a room. Confirm. Uh, shall I... Share two friends. Confirm. Let's see if Chris is still online and if we'll get a match. A bot has entered. That's cool, I guess. I guess we'll play against the bot. Mike Timer versus Cuber Bot. Okay, scramble time. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that block there. Good grief. What a scramble. Oh, he kicked my ass. I got smashed by a bot. This guy's absolutely toasting me. I mean, this robot. This stupid bot is kicking my ass. He's... Yeah. He got me again. Uh, number two. Okay, so it looks like matches are an average of five. And that smashed me every single one. Screw that stupid robot idiot jerk. There's a, oh, there's a room I can enter here. Well, let's observe. Room is not in enter. Hey, okay. I'm in a match with actual people this time. And we've got a GAN bot as well. What? Someone's being impeached. A bot's running the room now. Okay, interesting. Round one, here we go. We chat the bot with an 18. I got a 25. Ah, I got beat by a 23. D Gray got me, okay. 26, what'd you get this time, D Gray man? Let's go. God dang. Third again, whatever. Oof. Cheeky 24. The bot got a 16. Oh no! 46 for D Gray man. D Gray man's gonna be looking for redemption this time. Oof, that was ugly. 24. Surely D Gray Man's gonna take me on that one. Nice J Perm to finish. J A. He's gonna come in with. He has chomped it again with a 37. I might get a second here. I might get second place. Second to the bot. 24 with a G A. Come on. Look at that. Three 24s in a row. 24 8, 24 3, 24 2. That's some consistency. 32 again. Number two. Yes, sucker. Oh, my average of five is 24.77. Heck yeah. Okay, so I guess that's that, everyone. That's my um, first go with the GAN iCarry. Um, my first experience with a smart cube and using it with the GAN app. Overall, it's a lot of fun. Like I've just sat down and done, I don't know, maybe like 50 solves or something. I never sit down and do 50 solves. And it's really nice to be able to just grind away without having to put the cube down, without having to touch the timer or whatever. You can just smash out solves so fast and get so much practice done. The head-to-head -head matches are cool. Obviously it's gonna be a lot better once there's more people on there, once the iCarry starts to ship out. I know there's other smart cubes, but I don't know how, how often people are using those on here. The ALG training, that's, for me, I think going to be a bit of a game changer as well. You don't just have to sit down and do time solve because after all, just sitting down and doing time solves, time solves, it's not really practice. You're just practicing what you already know. You're not learning anything new. So I think I, I'm really interested to have a look at OLL in those. I'm really interested to see if I can, because I want to learn some OH while I've got my dodgy arm. I shouldn't have been Cuban today. 
with two hands. So if you see my physio, you didn't see this video, okay? Because I, so I want to learn some OH and I want to program those algs in there maybe. I'll see if that works, if that's a thing. I'm going to see if it can help me with my F2L maybe. Um, overall, that was awesome. That was really good fun. I'm very, very pumped on that. I'm pumped on this cube. The cube, by the way, performs really, really well, to be honest. It felt like it was going to be a bit locky, but actually after using it for a while, I felt really comfortable. I didn't have huge issues with lockups. As you can see, I'm not super fast anyway, so, but, but for me, it felt really good. And that's about all I've got to say. It's here, it's out now. The GAN I carry is ready to pick up at speedcube.co.nz. If you're on there, add me. I'm not gonna change my stupid name. I'm gonna keep it as Mike Timer. You can find me on there, add me as a friend. Maybe we can have some matches or whatever. You can see if I get any better. But for now, I think we're done. That was amazing. I wanna play with it some more. That's, that is the over, that is, that's what I'm being left with. I wanna just play with that some more, but the day is marching on and I've got things to do. That was really cool. Sucks I forgot to turn the screen recorder on, but I've got more videos planned for this thing as well. I want to actually look into really re recording sort of a like user's guide to the app, maybe I think might be a good idea. As it stands, like what can you use in the app with the smart cube and the timer and all that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you in the next one.